All right, so I uh, finally sat down today and completed the schematic for the 8x8x8 RGB LED cube. Um, here it is. As you can tell, it's a beast. I actually I feel like I have brain damage from copying and pasting so much. But uh, I used a free version of Eagle to do this, which is a schematic capture and PCB layout tool. And this was my first time using Eagle, and i got to say, it's, it's really easy to use once you get the hang of it. So I'll have the Eagle project file and the uh, P PDF version of the schematic up on my website, so there should be a link in the description below. Um, in this video, I just wanted to sort of talk about how everything's connected together and not really get into the functionality of the circuit. For that, you should watch the theory video uh, where I actually talk about how everything actually works. So let's take a closer look, if I could zoom in here on this a little bit. Uh, on the top left, we have the microcontroller and the programming headers. Uh, nothing special there. And then you can see here I have the 25 shift registers. So my data output from the microcontroller feeds the first shift register. And then the output of that shift register feeds the input of the next shift register. And we have 25 shift registers. The first one here is the anode control shift register. So the output of that shift register feeds the driver circuitry for each anode control driver. So uh, this is where I actually have the P-channel MOSFETs. And I used a lot of net names for this. So anode level 0 here. Oh, actually, I didn't want to show you that. Right here, control level 0 is feeds into this circuit. Here is control level 0 and then anode level 0 is the output of this so this actually goes to the anodes of the cube okay and I even have the caps in here too so I included everything that I had used on my cube here so this is the exact circuit that you see in my cube okay and I'll talk about these here in a second too because I made a second diagram that sort of helps show how everything is connected uh, right after the anode control shift register is the uh, the cathode control shift register. So I have eight for blue, and then I have eight for green, and then I have eight for red. And you'll notice that the uh, you know just like I talked about in my theory video, for the blue and green cathode controls I have two 100 ohm re uh, resistors in parallel, and then for the red I have only the one. Okay. And then the output of each one of these you'll see is green out 56. So that's LED number 56, the green cathode. That actually connects right to the cathode of that LED. So let me show you that real quick. I made a second document here. So check this out. This is a the top view of the LED cube. And it's an 8x8 by it's it's just an 8x8 grid. So there's 64 pillars looking down. So each one of these pillars, all of the cathodes are connected together. And then for each level of the cube, if you're looking at it from the side, all of the anodes are connected together per level. Um, and when you're looking down at the cube, it goes red, green, blue. On my cube, it goes red, green, blue. So the outputs from the schematic I just showed you connect right to the cathodes of each pillar. So it's 0, 0, 0, and then this would be 1, 1, 1. 2, 2, 2, all the way to 7, and then I start back up at the top of the next column over at 8, down to 15, and then blah, 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 repeat all the way to 56 to 63. So hopefully that makes sense. So we have a total of, you know, there's 8 shift registers per color here, so you have the 64 outputs per color. Okay, I didn't want to go there. Let me bring this back up here. So hopefully that helps a little bit, and I'll have I'll also post this diagram here on the site as well. Maybe that'll help you. It's sort of used just to supplement the schematic to sort of help out a little bit. Um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. So uh, if you guys find anything wrong here, let me know, and I'll update it. Um, like I said, I just finished this, so there's probably some things wrong with it. And uh, oh, you know, I should show you something else real quick. So. Maybe my next step would be to actually, um, let me see how I get over to that. Again, this is my first time using Eagle. But I think maybe my next step would be to actually go in, oops, 
would be to actually go in and make the PCB for this circuit, which is something I wanted to do, but let me see if it'll let me do that real, real quick to show you just how many parts there are. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty ridiculous. So that would be a fun layout. All of these parts have to go on the PCB. So I did not use a PCB. I used proto boards. And I have links on my website to the exact proto boards I used. I used 10 of them for my, for my cube. But uh, anyway, I'll have a link to this whole project file. And if you guys ever actually do lay this out, let me know. Um, and if you make millions of dollars off this, off this and you sell it or something, give me a couple bucks. All right. Thanks for watching.